Fit Fitness stainless steel barbell version two might be one of the best overall values in barbells today. That's why I bought one and that's what we'll be looking at today on Gym Crafter. Hey everybody, I'm Tim from gymcrafter.com where we help people like you build home gyms that you'll love. Today on the show, we've got the Rep Fitness Stainless Steel Power Bar version two. Now, not too long ago, I bought the Stainless Steel Power Bar EX from Rep. It's been great, I've been using it for a while. It's got a really aggressive neural on it and one of the most common questions I've gotten from you guys is, is this a good everyday bar or should you go with the standard stainless steel power bar with the less aggressive neural? So I had to buy the, the uh, standard bar to check it out. It came yesterday, I just unwrapped it, and want to give you guys a first look and some first impressions. Now I typically don't do reviews until I've had the product for quite a while and used it for some time, so that won't be for a little bit. But I did want to give you a peek because I just unwrapped it and it's pretty cool. So as we go through the video today, anything that I talk about will be linked in the, in the uh, description below. And if you like this kind of video and you like what I'm doing, make sure that you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments so that I know to keep doing these kind of videos for you. So let's get into the comparison. So the first thing I want to talk about about this bar is how it came to me. The packing, as you saw at the beginning of the video, was kind of shot when it got here. And I experienced the same thing when I ordered the EX. They both showed up with the packaging kind of ripped apart. Now, I've ordered quite a few barbells and there's only been a couple of companies who have really gotten shipping right. Rogue, of course, ships everything really nicely packed and American Barbell, by far, was the best packaged barbell that I'd ever received. So right off the bat when this showed up on my door, I was a little bit skeptical, a little bit scared. Um, like I said, the packaging was completely broken in half and I'm always worried about that when something shows up with the packaging that beat up. So after I took the packaging off and I cleaned everything up, it seems like everything's in good shape. There's no scratches, there's no dings, there's no dents, it's not bent or anything like that. So no harm, no foul. But I will tell you that in my experience and from feedback from you guys, if you're ordering from Rep, the further you are from where they are in Colorado, the more of a chance you're gonna have of your boxes being beaten up. Now that said, Rep does a great job of packing their gear and I have had some issues with them before when something showed up damaged, and I gotta tell you, they're one of the best customer service companies out there when there is an issue. So it's not that they never make mistakes or things never go wrong, but I can tell you that they're super easy to deal with if there is a problem. Luckily, on this bar, there wasn't a problem. Let's start with a quick overview of the bar. This is a standard 20 kilogram bar, right at about 45 pounds. It's stainless steel from end to end, and that's one of the things that makes these bars special. Stainless steel bars, number one, are really expensive typically, and number two, you'll usually only find the bar, the shaft itself, in stainless, where the sleeves will normally be a hard chrome finish. Now, I don't know how much of a difference that actually makes. I don't live in a high corrosive climate like some of you might. So for me, hard chrome, stainless steel, as far as the sleeves go, that's gonna hold up about the same, but, the other benefits of stainless steel, I love having an end-to-end -end stainless bar. So that's one really nice thing about this bar is the end-to-end -end stainless. It's a really cool kind of a gunmetal color. Uh, it's a, a raw metal finish, so there's no coating. There's nothing on it to change it. It's a, a bare metal, and it's, it's really cool looking. I love the way that the stainless steel bars look. The color is my favorite color for a bar. It's not a finish that's never gonna wear off. It's gonna be this color the entire time that I have it. So it's one of the things, just first impression looks wise, it looks great, end-to-end -end stainless. This is by far the least expensive, and I think this comes in at just under 400 bucks. It's the least expensive end-to-end -end stainless steel bar that you can get from a reputable company. When we look at the sleeves, they're standard sleeves. Uh, there's a, a dual bushing system in here. There's really no play. So that's one of the things that I really noticed. Um, some of the bars, Titan, Rogue, when I, when I open them up, there's a lot of play in those bars. And when you drop the bar, it, it uh, hits the ground. You'll hear a lot of rattling. This thing is solid. So I really like that about this. But really solidly built, really well put together. The quality of this is fantastic. One of the things I actually like better about this bar than the EX is the neural itself is definitely more passive. We'll talk about what it feels like here in a second, but the neural termination where the neural meets the bare bar, this is really nice and clean. And that's one of the marks of a high quality bar is when you get a cheaper bar, you'll notice that 
sometimes where the neural meets the, the rest of the bar, it's kind of sloppy, there's some fall off there, it's not a clean edge. And this is a really, really pretty bar. They did a great job. So um, real happy with that. Speaking of the neural, and this is the big difference between the, the V2 power bar and the EX, is the neural is much more passive. Now I've read a lot of reviews online before I bought this and a lot of people said, hey, this is just too passive of a neural. They, they didn't like it. What I would tell you is the EX, and I'll do a review of this at some point, um, not too distant future, super aggressive. Great for certain lifts, but I have to tell you, it's not shaping up to be an everyday use bar for me. So if I had to buy just one bar, it probably wouldn't be the EX. And that's where this bar comes in, is the, the neural itself being a lot less aggressive is gonna be more suited towards everyday use. Now, for neural, I think some people, if it's not sharp, they complain or they think it's not gonna be, it's not gonna serve its purpose. What you want from neural is you want to have good grip on the bar and you want to be able to, to grab the bar and know it's not going to slip out of your hand. And what I can tell you is, is that while this isn't the most aggressive neural in the world, it's nice and grippy. So when I, when I grab this, I can get a good grip on the bar. Um, now this compared to an American barbell, American barbell probably falls somewhere in between these two and it's a little bit sharper but I don't know that it gets better grip. I played with them both for a little while when I opened up this bar and I noticed that while this doesn't feel as pokey or as sharp, I get just as good a grip on this bar. Now keep in mind, I haven't trained with it yet. I just opened it, but I get just as good a grip on this as I do on that American barbell bar. So, so far, uh, I do like this for an everyday bar. So if you're in the market for a barbell and you're looking at stainless steel options and you're wondering which one to go with, this is definitely a more passive neural. It's not, passive is not the right word. It does have good grip to it, but it's more passive than, than the EX. So if you've got tons of calluses and you want a really nice grippy bar, the EX might work for you, but just keep in mind, it's pretty sharp. If you're only gonna buy one bar, it's gonna be the, the all-purpose bar in your gym, I think this is probably better suited, first impression again, better suited for everyday use. Outside of that, I'm really looking forward to training with this bar. Again, I love the way that it looks, I love the way that it feels. Um, something that I didn't mention is one of the best things about stainless steel is, is the feel. This thing feels great. There's nothing between your hand and the metal. And that's one of the things that I really love about a stainless steel bar is the feel in your hands is, is in my mind better than any other kind of bar out there other than possibly a bare steel bar. Problem being that a bare steel bar is gonna rust in no time. You've gotta really keep on top of those things maintenance wise, whereas a stainless steel bar, wipe it off when you're done, brush the chalk off of it if you use chalk, and it's gonna be good as new for a long, long time. I think overall first impressions of the Rep Fitness Stainless Steel Power Bar version two are pretty good. I like the way that it looks. Uh, I like the way the neural is. And actually I just noticed, again, just open this up. The neural in the middle is a lot more passive than the neural on the outside. So that's an interesting choice by Rep. I guess you never grip here. Uh, this is just for squats. Make sure it gets a good grip on your back. Um, along with a couple other small functional reasons they have a center neural. But the center neural is more passive than the side. But again, overall, can't wait to train with it. Really happy with the purchase. And again, this is the least expensive all stainless steel power bar you can buy. So if you're in the market for stainless steel, you want something that's a good everyday, um, something that's not gonna tear up your hands like the EX, I'd give this one a whirl based on my first impressions. So until next time, I'm Tim with Jim Crafter.